Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Thank you for joining me on this live stream today. It is the 13th day of December. It's a Thursday morning here in Honolulu, Hawaii, 9 a.m. And I'm very grateful for you joining. Today we're going to be focusing on the wood element, which is one of five elements in traditional Eastern medicine. And we're going to specifically be focusing uh, on the emotion of anger associated with the wood element. So I hope that you stick around and enjoy part of this with me. Uh, this live stream, as with all my live streams, uh, take up to an hour. Uh, and that's because I go into well, the first five or so minutes just waiting for everybody to get online. And then we prepare the energy field by calling in the beings of light. Then I offer you the wisdom that has been shared with humanity, in this case by Dr. and Master Shaw. And, uh, and then we apply actually the wisdom for healing these conditions and so for example the condition of anger you know what do people do they go to a psychologist or they go to an anger management specialist <clears throat> if you've ever seen the movie anger management with uh, Adam Sandler it's quite amusing but um, the Eastern traditional approach to it is quite a bit different Aloha Angelina welcome Kristen uh, welcome Cora, uh, and welcome everybody else. If I missed your name, Erica, aloha. <clears throat> and so the, um, the traditional approach um, in the Eastern philosophies is that it has associations to do with the wood element, which you're going to learn more about today. And the wood element has associations to certain body parts, organs. And you're going to find out today, if you don't already know, that when we can positively impact those organs, it can positively impact the condition, emotional condition of anger. Yes, thank you, Angelina. I am. Uh, I woke up a little early today, and I'm going through some early morning uh, um, what do you call that? Allergy reaction. <clears throat> There's a significant amount of wind here. Where I'm at, which tends to stir up a lot of air toxicity. Welcome also Pranjal. Welcome Kaniom. Welcome Bagna. Aloha Dan. Welcome Nita. Thank you all for joining. And thank you for your comments, Pranjal. I'm glad that I, uh, the way I explain things can help people to understand things a little bit better. So I have taught on this before, but it's been about a year or so before since I had taught on this subject matter of the wood element and the emotional condition of anger. So I hope that you enjoy it. <clears throat> As always with these live streams, what I like to do is set the energy field so that the beings of light that are always surrounding us can be present to assist us in this case with transforming uh, the emotional of anger. Welcome Kathy Monaghan, welcome Phyllis, welcome Christina Barker. We do that by uh, applying the four powers, the first of which is a body power. So we place our hands in the prayer position, which you can certainly leave your hands there if you'd like. Uh, there is a new body power position, uh, which is called the soul light, soul service hand position, in which the left hand drops in front of the heart center and the right hand remains in prayer position. This connects heaven to our message center. So you may choose to do that or not. Close your eyes and I will invite in the beings of light to join us. Welcome, Bari. Welcome, Danny. Dear our beloved divine creator, by whichever name you go and whatever place in the world people connect with you, we love you, honor you, appreciate you. We invite you to please be present. Dear the soul of all the beings of light, including the angels, healing angels, and archangels, masters and ascended masters, all the lamas, gurus, sifu, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, we invite beloved Jesus and Mother Mary. We invite beloved Buddha. Kuan Yin, Amitofu. We invite beloved Muhammad, beloved Ganesha, beloved Krishna, Vishnu, and more beings of light. We ask for your presence in whatever way is most appropriate to assist at this time, for assisting each and every one of us to awaken more to our full potential as a soul. Please guide the wisdom and teachings today on the wood element and the condition of anger. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
<clears throat> Dear the song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you and we appreciate you. We invite you to please turn on. We invite all souls in all universes to join with us at this time. And I will lead all of you in chanting this mantra called love, peace, and harmony, which I do each and every live stream. Uh, and this is to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. It is also a mantra that is very world renowned as a healing mantra. So I encourage you to download it at lovepeaceharmony.org. And you can, if you're not familiar with it, close your eyes, receive the blessings, because it is a blessing to uh, receive it. And if you wish to join in, you may. And thank you, Kristen, for posting the Love, Peace, Harmony information. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling. Wo ai tran nan ling. Ang ling rong er mu xer xiang. Xiang ai ping on a xie. Xiong ai ping on the xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> how is a Mandarin Chinese word that means complete, perfect? Uh, and we say thank you three times. The first thank you to our Creator. Second thank you to all the beings of light who have arrived. And the third thank you to our own soul. I can tell you a lot of beings of light have arrived. I can always tell because when I start, uh, the, you know, it's it's relatively normal energetics, and as soon as I uh, ask these beings of light to come and and start chanting the song of love, peace, harmony specifically, my nose becomes very itchy, and um, my third eye is open occasionally. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Depends on uh, what the need is. But at one point, I was asking a student, excuse me, was was doing a um, body work on me. And the student had very wide open third eye. And this person said, why are there all these beings of light around you running their hands through your face? Always running their hands through your face. I said, you know, I don't know, but it drives me crazy. Always makes my nose itch. They always come whenever Love, Peace, Harmony is chanted. It's quite amazing. So welcome, Kristen. Welcome, uh, Shelly. Aloha, Craig Beam. Welcome, uh, Matthew Bingle. And aloha, and welcome to Thweeba. Uh, Thank you to everybody. If I missed your name, welcome, Donnie. Uh, then thank you for coming. Thank you for your presence. So today, we're going to be focusing on some wisdom and teachings. Now, I'm, I'm grabbing the information from this book, and I do recommend uh, you become very familiar with this book. The title, Tao Song, Tao Dance, does not accurately reflect the wisdom that is in this book. Dao Song, Dao Dance, at least from a male perspective, sounds very fluffy. Ooh, Dao Song, Dao Dance, yay! And there is absolutely uh, a lot of uh, transmissions, downloads, treasures, and wisdom associated with that. What shocks me the most is how Master Shaw can take something as light and fluffy as the words Dao Song and Dao Dance and incorporate in this book some of the most advanced wisdom that has ever been brought to humanity. The kind of wisdom that, if practiced, could literally reverse your health issues. That's how powerful the wisdom is. And so in this book on page 54 is wisdom on the five elements. Very briefly, the five elements are uh, wood, earth, metal, uh, excuse me, wood, fire, earth, metal, water. And in traditional Chinese medicine, which, you know, Master Shaw is Chinese, so he grew up in the traditional Eastern medicine. He is, by the way, uh, or was anyway, he received a medical doctorate in Western Chinese medicine, Western medicine and a doctorate in Eastern medicine. So he has doctorates in both. Uh, but he has since let his American doctorate go since he had to move to, to America, uh, to Ch Canada, excuse me, and um, 
too difficult to maintain it uh, out of country, et cetera, et cetera. But in any case, he's quite well educated, both Eastern and Western medicine. <clears throat> and when he brought this wisdom to uh, this book, he is able to apply a lot of both wisdoms and technologies and the deeper spiritual wisdoms. So briefly, the five elements, the wood element, fire element, earth element, metal element, water element. There are various associations of bodily systems associated with these. Uh, everybody put your hand, your right hand, put it on your liver. Let's see if you get the right part of your body. The liver is under the uh, right hand rib cage. Now put your hand over your heart. This is your fire element. Your heart is your fire element. Your liver is your wood element or associated with your wood element is probably a better way to verbiage that. So your liver is associated with wood element, heart is associated with fire element, lungs, you have two of those, is associated with the metal element, down below the left rib cage is associated with the earth element, and behind your back where the kidneys are is associated with the water element. And the traditional Chinese medicine, uh, TCM as it's referred to, uh, refers to these elements as being in all things in all universes not just associated with the human body so that means that earth has wood fire earth metal water uh, that means that a planet has wood fire earth metal water that means that all things according to traditional Eastern uh, wisdoms carries the five elements additionally the wood element which is one of these five elements uh, can impact the other ones so there is some basic understanding. And if I showed you this chart, you might be able to better comprehend that. I know the lighting's not great, but um, as you can see here, you can see the arrows. And it says wood, the arrow goes to the fire, then the arrow goes to the earth, then the arrow goes to the metal, and then the arrow goes to the water, and then back to the wood. And what's the implication here? Again, uh, the wonderful wisdom of the East would say that everything connects to everything in other words if my wood element is off balance it will affect the fire element which will then affect the earth element if it's on balance then the wood element positively affects the fire element which positively affects the earth element which positively affects the metal element and so forth and so uh, with the five element theory the basic foundation is that uh, one cannot positively work without the others being in balance now, traditional Western medicine looks at things very, very differently. They're like, no, we have a specialist for the liver, we got a specialist for the kidneys, we got a specialist for the heart, and they stand alone. They do not talk with each other. There is no correlation whatsoever in the human body. That's the Western philosophies is everything is standalone, operates all by itself. That's the antithesis of intelligence, if you really think about it. The body is one. It has to operate in synergy and in oneness, but nevertheless, that's the... Uh, perspective of most Western medicine that there's not a correlation between organs and systems but in Eastern philosophies they say no not true there is so back to the wood element and welcome Stan Dabian welcome Christina Nicole welcome Matthew Benji anybody else's names have missed you thank you for coming welcome thank you also for clicking on the share button so now we have the wood element. What is the direct associations with the wood element? Well, let's read from the book. There is what's called the yin organ, Y-I-N, you know, yin and yang. Yin, uh, net, generally speaking, is referring to the female nature and yang to the male nature. But, uh, you know, Mother Earth is yin, heaven is yang, right? Front of the body is yin, back of the body is yang. So it doesn't always mean male, female. That's generally how it's understood. Uh, so wood, the yin organ, is the liver. The yang organ, or what's called a paired organ, is the gallbladder. A little side note, you know, gallstones, everybody has heard of gallstones. Sometimes people confuse those with kidney stones, which apparently are quite painful and grateful I've never had them. But gallstones are actually formed in the liver. The liver and gallbladder are what's called a paired organ. And they work together. Uh, as part of the wood element. <clears throat> Another aspect to the wood element is what's called a body tissue, which in this case is the tendons and nails. Uh, if you Google, uh, for example, nails, ridges on the nails, you know, where there's lines on your fingernails, 
they'll tell you that's an imbalance in the liver. The tendons of the body. You know, some people always have um, uh, sore tendons or, or locked muscles or not the right word. Um, tendonitis, ten, you know, elbow issues, things like that. These, from an Eastern philosophy, from a wood element philosophy, uh, would be associated with uh, potentially with the liver and gallbladder. That's not that interesting. So if you went to an Eastern medical practitioner uh, and you told them I had tendonitis, they would of course probably put some acupuncture needles in, in the area of your elbow. Uh, but they might, uh, if it was tendonitis of the elbow, but they might also put some um, uh, needles and do herbs to strengthen your liver function because there's association with tendons. Curious, huh? Whereas the fingernails are basically a reflection of the quality of that particular element. Another side note, not directly related to what element. Uh, if you've ever got, went to an Eastern uh, practitioner, Eastern medicine practitioner, they'll ask you to look at your tongue. Isn't that interesting? Do they do that in Western medicine? The most they'll do is stick a piece of wood on it and say, say, ah, but they don't do that. Eastern practitioners, they look at your tongue very carefully because it is a it carries the story of your health. They can tell you just by looking at your tongue the health of your body, what area is off, what area is weak, what area is strong, what you need more of, what you need less of, just by looking at your tongue. So the human body is definitely a one all-inclusive structure. Wood element being part of that. Just a side note. Okay, body fluid would be tears. Why tears? Well, because the sense organ, how many senses do we have? Five, right? That, that, that is acknowledged. Uh, sight, sound, touch, taste, and hearing. And each one of those five senses have an association to the five elements. The wood elements association is the eyes. Isn't that interesting? The eyes. So... Uh, very common association where if you have eye problems, the inability to um, to uh, maintain high quality vision, it just no matter what you do, it gets worse, 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 worse. Uh, your liver could be the culprit or a factor in that. True story, I'll tell you a true story. Uh, this is going back about 20 years ago. Uh, when I was working in a sales business, I had a fellow uh, co-worker that was doing what's called the master cleanse, which many of you know about, it's a lemonade cleanse. Welcome Lori, welcome Ravita, welcome Stan, welcome Felicia, welcome Kristen, uh, welcome also to uh, uh, Anne-Marie and Kristen Strachan, uh, Archana, welcome. Uh, if I missed your name, forgive me, welcome, thank you for coming. So back to the story. So this uh, student, uh, excuse me, uh, co-worker, was doing the master cleanse, which is a lemonade cleanse and, and maple syrup and cayenne pepper, and that's about it, maybe a little bit more. And so uh, the idea is to drink that without eating anything for about 10 days, uh, which I've done a couple times myself. It's a very powerful cleanse. Well, this particular person decided he was going to do it as long as he possibly could. Uh, around the 20, 22nd day, he was told to go home because he was literally delirious. Uh, at uh, work but uh, and he was he was told to promise to stop doing it before he came back to work and get back into norm uh, apparently he did not he told them that he would yeah okay I promise blah 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 but apparently he kept doing it for 40 days just water with lemon and cayenne pepper and maple syrup don't recommend you do this for 40 days 10 days not a problem good thing for you uh, but you know do your homework around and don't say Paul said it's okay do your homework be smart uh, if you can handle it uh, history speaks that it's good for the body anyway this gentleman did it for 40 days uh, and he was telling me this directly uh, face to face he said you know uh, strangest thing happened last night I got into bed as typical in the evenings my wife and I we pick up our books and we do our little reading he picked up his book put on his reading glasses he couldn't read the book. Isn't that interesting? So how come I can't read the book? My reading glasses, is something wrong with him? He asked his wife, did you exchange my reading glasses? And so he tried hers. He still couldn't read. So he took them off, and he could read the book just fine. Now, he had been needing and using reading glasses for 10 years, is what he told me. 10 years, reading glasses. 
but it didn't work anymore. He took them off and his eyes looked and worked fine. Why? Because the body went through a massive, massive purification, a massive cleanse in which we weren't, uh, his body wasn't being impermeated by toxicity. And in fact, the toxicity was being weaned out, including that of the liver. Interesting, right? Just a little side note for you. So the association with the liver and the eyes and tears, very connective. Uh, one of the next areas, and the reason for this live stream, is the emotion of anger. Raise your hand if you have anger. Raise your hand if you've had anger. Raise your hand if you've created problems in your life because of anger. Raise your hand if anger is a major culprit in your relationship blockages. Raise your hand if one person brings more anger to you than other people in your life. That means you have karma with that person. So anger is very often associated with uh, people that are um, out of control. But it could be that they have liver problems. Sometimes, oftentimes, people that drink a lot have liver problems. And oftentimes those same people have anger problems. People who have anger problems actually can get liver uh, diagnoses. It could be very bad diagnoses because they do not handle their anger well. So very often, one begets another. Liver, the liver, function of the liver is many, many functions. And I'm not a doctor. I'm not a uh, doctor of any kind. But just based on what I have read over the many, many years I've been on this planet, the liver uh, is a purifier of blood. It is, uh, it creates a lot of essence of the life force energy. So it is a hugely important toxin purifier. Uh, one of the things the liver does is it gathers the toxins of the body. So don't you think that uh, the toxins in the air that we breathe, I mean, just, and a lot of people don't know this, but literally uh, the human bloodstream, at least in the Americas, has about 400 toxins in the bloodstream. 400, not supposed to be their toxins, chemicals, uh, many of which come from the air. Uh, they did a test on women in Canada. This was in Canada. They did a test on 400 uh, pregnant women and they tested their breast milk and uh, 398 of them had airline fuel, um, mix the mixture that was an airline fuel in their breast milk. So we get toxins from many, many different sources. It's very, very sad. And our body is uh, responsible for purifying them out of our body. So anger can actually come uh, from unexpected sources. Of course, we have our karmic impositions, uh, which can bring it about. Of course, there are those people uh, all around us that can create conditions in which we respond unpleasantly. Uh, of course, it's always their fault, right? It's never our fault. Haha. -ha. Uh, no, it's our stuff. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But there are also external conditions that can negatively impact us, such as toxic foods, toxic air, toxic water. So it is important to do things like purifying the body. It is important to pay attention to those herbs and those things that can assist you in purifying out the liver because that will positively impact your, you and your ability to handle stressful conditions, which tend to bring about additional um, anger responses. Welcome, Yolanda. Welcome also to uh, Rosetta. So let's talk a little bit about anger and the spiritual approach to it. In Master Shah's wisdom and Master Shah's teaching, he would teach that in order to reverse an anger condition, we must do several things. The first and most important is a forgiveness practice because the wisdom is that anger is a Shen, Qi, Jing blockage. Shen, soul, heart, and mind. As anger is a soul, heart, mind level blockage. It's also a Qi and Jing blockage, which is an energy matter blockage soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter, blockages create some anger conditions. This is the wisdom. What is a soul blockage? Well, a soul blockage is a karma blockage. It is where we may, we or our ancestors, most likely us, have created conditions upon others where they were exceedingly angry. Maybe we took their food or took their land or took their job from them or whatever it might be, created great anger with them. Well, 
that has the potential to boomerang back to us, create anger with us, which creates lots of problems in our life. Can you give me one example where anger helped you? There might be one or two. You know, anger sometimes helps us to get motivated to get things done, and we get angry with ourselves. I'm going to get this done. I'm tired of this. Very, very rare conditions in which anger is beneficial. In almost every case, it's not. So the traditional uh, approach to this would be to, first of all, recognize that there are originations of it. The first being soul originations or karmic originations. The second being mind and heart uh, blockages. What are mind and heart blockages? Well, heart blockages are n not having an open heart, of course. If your heart is open, are you going to be aggressive to somebody? If your heart is open, are you going to be mean and angry towards them? It's much, much more unlikely that that would be the case. Uh, also, mind blockages, negative mindsets. I'm never going to do that. Rawr, negative attitudes, you know. Uh, that thing never works. Now, you can just tell by the statement, that never works. That, that carries a bit of intonation of, of superiority, of anger, of, of uh, a not a pleasant tune, right? So mindsets. Um, ego. Ego is hugely associated with anger, right? Ego is, I am right. I don't care what he says. Uh, I am always going to be right. And then the person that's right tends to raise their voice. I am guilty of that. Right? When I want to be right, I raise my voice. Learn that from my stepdad. So anger is very often associated with ego, the self-righteousness or the need to be right, right? or the, uh, the need to win the, the verbal battle no matter what. Um, so these are, are soul blockages, heart blockages, heart not open, mind blockages, negative mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego. Attachments. Uh, look at the little children, right? They're attached to a toy. They're attached to that thing in their hand. What happens when you try to pull it away? <laughs> Anger. Attachments. Attachments to, uh, I had an attachment issue yesterday. You know, um, I was attached to having success in my, in my outdoor farmer's market business with my wife. But the weather didn't want to cooperate. I was finding myself getting angry. Now, I was conscious of it. I told my wife, I'm, I'm angry. I'm angry at the weather. There's nothing I can do about it because it's impacting our finances. It's impacting our ability to, to generate a successful business. What can I do? I at least acknowledged it. I was looking at what is this emotion? I'm really not happy about this. So uh, attachment. I had an attachment to uh, the success always being consistent um, each time we went. Consciousness brings a lot of value to us. So Shen Xi Jing blockages create the anger. Shen, soul blockages, karma blockages, uh, uh, heart and mind blockages, let's give you examples of. What do soul, heart, mind blockages do? They impact the energy of our body. Yesterday, when the weather was not cooperating, rain and people weren't showing up and weather and windy and I was cold and I wasn't happy about this, right? Did it impact my energy negatively? What is qi? Qi is energy. Shen, qi, jing, blockages. Qi is energy. So it impacted my energy. So was I smiling to everybody? Uh, I was trying, but it, it wasn't uh, the purest smile that it could have been, right? So it impacted my energy. It didn't allow me to have an open heart to serve properly. Uh, also, that energy negatively impacts the energy and matter. So in Master Shah's wisdom, Shen Qi Jing, it goes down in order. Your soul blockages affect your heart, which affects your mind. Your mind blockages affects the energy of your body, which then, of course, affects the matter of your body. Those people that are angry, it trickles down to the matter, which is what? The liver itself, the eye blockages, right? And that impacts them negatively. Therefore, they could function very poorly. So anger has root causes. And we have solutions to resolve them. These uh, solutions include the wisdom that Master Shah has placed in, uh, in many of his books. So he has a mantra. Uh, and... 
um, we employ the four powers. So we're going to do that now. We're going to employ the four powers to offset the emotional condition of anger. So we know the major organ for this is the liver. So where's the liver at? Under the right rib cage. So body power for this is one palm over the liver, typically the closest palm, but it doesn't have to be. And the other palm you place over your lower abdomen. Okay. Now, if we have an anger condition, then there might be too much uh, chi, too much energy, ba 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 ba, pushing on this area. We want to bring it back into balance. So, if there is too much uh, energy into this area, let's say cirrhosis of the liver, or liver cancer, or inflamed liver, enlarged liver. Uh, uh, if you have a lot of anger, then you're going to want to uh, employ what's called near hand far hand technique and this near hand far hand technique can be found in master shah's soul mind body medicine book came out about 15 years ago amazing book a bestseller and so what is near hand far hand <clears throat> well think of it like uh, high pressure low pressure we want to release the high pressure you know think about anger <clears throat> high pressure we want to release the high pressure how do we do that near hand far hand technique this can be applied to pain in different parts of your body this exact same technique can be applied to pain it can be applied to headaches it can be applied to any inflammation anywhere in your body it's the exact same technique what do you do the near hand in this case I'll use my right hand goes about four to seven inches from the liver and I'll have my palm facing my liver the far hand is about a uh, 14 inches away from the lower abdomen. So find your belly button, bring your palm about 14 inches away from your belly button. Uh, and you do want to leave your arm crooked a little bit, you know, not straight out. And this is what is called near hand, far hand. So, uh, so that you can apply this elsewhere as you need if you had a headache, okay? The near hand goes to the pain area, right? If you pain is right here, you might have a gentle pointing towards it. Otherwise, you just put your palm towards it, about four to seven inches away. Where does the far hand go? Same place, lower abdomen, about 14 inches away. What's occurring? The condensed energy area of the headache, or in this case, the liver, is high pressure. We want to dissipate the pressure. So when we do this, the body power causes the chi, the energy, to flow to a different area of the body. There's too much energy in that particular area if it's a headache, too much energy in the liver if it's uh, anger. Okay, We want to dissipate this by applying the four power technique. The first one being body power, which I have taught you now, called near hand, far hand. Remember, you can apply this uh, towards yourself, even for your, your loved ones, your children, things like that. Any point of inflammation, apply near hand, far hand, you could be very surprised. Master Shah used this quite successfully. Uh, now, people had to be very consistent with it, and they did use other practices, but along with the other practices, they were able to reverse major illnesses such as cancer because they applied this technique. So it's not something to ignore. It's a, it's a very powerful technique. So that's the body power. Now, we must apply the sound power, uh, sound power, we will use the mantra Jiao. Jiao, J-I-A-O, is the sound for the liver. Jiao, Ya, Yo, Dao is the entire mantra. Jiao, Ya, Yo, Dao. Ya, Yo, Dao moves the chi, balances the energy. Jiao uh, focuses it to the liver. Okay, that'll be the sound power. For the creative visualization or the mind power, we're going to see in this case beautiful golden light coming into the liver area because it has associations to the condition of anger and when we see that golden light come in we see it dissipate anything in there that is not of golden light that's your creative visualization or mind power soul power is asking all the beings of light to join us uh, which we did earlier but we'll do it one more time and uh, asking them to serve in this area also, everything has a soul in Master Shah's wisdom. This includes the soul of your liver, all the cells, all the RNA, DNA, and smallest matter in your liver. They all have souls. And even your whole body has souls. It can assist you. So we'll connect with the soul power in just a moment. 
Um, first, let's do a forgiveness practice. One of the core wisdoms is that uh, th this is all Shen Qi Jing blockages. Shen is what? Soul blockages, which is karma level blockages. Mistakes that you or I or our ancestors have made. Mistakes that we have made, being causing other people to be angry, being angry towards others, creates karma. Uh, great wisdom, a one sentence secret, Master Shah. Uh, passed on he said anger burns virtue really think about that anger burns virtue <laughs> he asked one of his teachers to witness what was happening while two people were arguing with each other and the and the, this this the teacher with the third eye said he could see that when one person was yelling at the other that their virtue their good karma was leaving them and going to the other when the other person yelled back their virtue is leaving them and going back to the other. So when you yell at somebody, you are giving up your good karma. You're giving up your virtue, which is much like draining your money bank. So don't drain your money bank. Don't drain your virtue bank. It's what keeps you alive. Good virtue literally is why you are alive. So be smart with it. Um, so forgiveness is the key. The key. Forgiveness is what? the key to releasing anger blockages it is exceedingly important because of the shen chi and jing soul heart mind blockages if we do not do forgiveness we cannot release the soul heart mind blockages if we do not for forgiveness we cannot let go of the negative mindsets attitudes the ego please forgive me my ego right it was your ego that caused you to be overly uh, self-righteous overly uh, aggressive in your stance uh, it is the attachments to having things your way you have to do forgiveness for these things souls are harmed when we uh, are not responsible uh, for our anger and so in doing a forgiveness practice souls forgive us as the souls forgive us the darkness leaves the blockages the soul heart mind blockages leave therefore the energy uh, becomes much lighter and moves more freely adjusting the matter to bring health and balance to the area I'm gonna repeat that one more time because I really want you to get it when we release the soul heart mind blockages through forgiveness and this practice the energy is then positively impacted the chi of the body can now move more freely because there's not an inflammation there and as the chi moves freely the matter which is the liver or the eyes or the uh, whatever it might be impacted by the anger can then adjust itself and move back to a healed state do you get it okay this is master Shah's wisdom so let's apply this now let's do our forgiveness practice first hands in either prayer position or uh, le left hand over the heart center right hand remain pointed towards heaven close your eyes and I will walk you through this forgiveness practice and then we will do the uh, practice to balance the uh, five the, fi the uh, wood element close your eyes and repeat after me if comfortable dear all souls in all time dear my beloved divine creator my name is state your name Paul Fletcher Paul Fletcher Paul Fletcher state your name three times I recognize that I have had anger in my life anger towards people that I care about anger towards people that I do not wish to associate with I have had too much anger in many cases in my life I now recognize that I could have earned this unpleasant imbalance by being angry towards others that I may have created karma causing others to be very unhappy or angry at me harming others hearts their love their caring I may have created distrust and other unpleasant things because of my anger to all souls all my loved ones my parents my children my brothers my sisters my family my friends my co-workers and others I sincerely apologize my mistake I sincerely apologize my lack of awakening I apologize my ego 
responses, my self-righteousness. Please forgive me for these times when I have not been present, loving, open-hearted, thoughtful instead of thoughtless. Please forgive me the times when I have not listened well and instead responded in anger. Please forgive me the times when I have been defensive with anger instead of finding a win-win scenario where there is a positive result for everybody involved. Please forgive me my attachments that it had to be a certain way no matter what. Please forgive me all the times that I have created anger in all souls, all of you, my brothers, my sisters, my children, my parents, all my family and friends. I may have created great anger in you because of these wrong thoughts, words, and actions. In every case, there is no excuse. I am awakening more every day. I am learning more every day. I will do better every day. I sincerely apologize and ask your forgiveness. I do not wish to take your forgiveness lightly. I wish to learn from my mistakes and not make the same mistakes again. And I humbly and sincerely apologize for these mistakes please forgive me <clears throat> now we must offer forgiveness to everybody who had harmed us with anger dear my parents I love you all the times you have ever been very angry towards me hurt me I give you my unconditional forgiveness I release you fully and entirely from all the anger you may have thrown towards me Dear my brothers and sisters, my children, I love you completely. Forgive you entirely of all the times you have ever been angry towards me. Anything that you have done that may have caused me to be very angry. All of the conditions that you may have done that have caused me to be extremely angry. I forgive you all, all my co-workers, family and friends all those who've ever cut me off while driving all those who have created conditions in which i was extremely angry and i have blamed you i now recognize that this may be karma that you may have caused me to be angry because i caused you to be angry first i now recognize that there is balance and everything I no longer wish to hold on to this anger and continue to blame. I forgive all of you unconditionally and release you of any spiritual debt that you may have with me in bringing anger into my world. I no longer wish to hold on to it. I forgive you unconditionally. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now let us place one palm over the liver about four inches away. One palm about 14 inches away from the lower abdomen. <clears throat> nice and relaxed. Shoulders relaxed. And as we chant Jiao Ya Yo Dao, see golden light coming into your liver zone, clearing anger blockages. Any darkness becomes golden light. Let us begin. Jiao ya yo dao, 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 jiao ya yo dao. See the light. Jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao.
dao jao ya yo 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 dao see the light brighter and brighter your entire right rib cage area bright golden light releasing blockages <coughs> jao ya yo dao 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 and now yang chanting jiao ya yo dao 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 silently chant gentle jiao ya yo dao very light healing light jiao ya yo dao jiao ya yo dao jiao ya yo dao jiao ya yo dao see the light surrounding your entire liver happy liver jiao ya yo dao 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 how 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 thank you thank you thank you so this is an example of a five element practice that balances the element associated with the wood element so it assists in strengthening our eyes it assists and making our liver stronger so it can purify the toxins that go through our body it assists in releasing anger of course it assists in strengthening our tendons and so many more it is truly a remarkable uh, and simple practice and uh, you can learn more by getting this uh, book if you'd like Dao Song Dao Dance they also have an audio version so you can find it in many different ways um, and this wisdom is not, you know, Master Shah's wisdom alone. But he did bring in the mantras and the forgiveness practices uh, and the five power technique that we have applied. So the wisdom of the five elements has been there 5,000 years. The practices is what is unique to help us to transform these kinds of blockages. 
And so uh, I'm very grateful to Master Shah for bringing this very simple and practical wisdom to us so that we can make life easier. Very important to remember that very often anger has associations to um, attachments and uh, ego. So do your best to catch yourself if these things flare up, even if you have to leave the room or whatever you have to do to kind of get back to your senses. Have an open heart, do a forgiveness practice, and uh, when you're ready, uh, reinitiate the communication in a way that um, that is win-win and brings about a scenario where you do not harm yourself or harm your liver or any other part because uh, the more you learn about the five elements if the liver is out of balance uh, the wood element is out of balance it negatively impacts the heart nobody wants to negatively impact the heart and uh, and that impacts other things negatively so the five element wisdom is a connectivity based wisdom and you can learn quite a bit more by picking up uh, that book or listening to the audiobook. So I'm very grateful to Master Shah and his original soul, all the beings of light who have come to offer their service um, at this live stream today. I'm grateful to all of you for your presence. Thank you for clicking uh, and sharing. Thank you for your beautiful comments. I'm very grateful for them. Uh, and make sure that we give the credit to, to uh, Master Shah, whose wisdom it is. Um, so uh, one one recommendation to all of you do go to drsha.com and register for this weekend's um, uh, blessings <clears throat> basically if you have any major condition you know like fibromyalgia or anything like that right uh, you know do receive a blessing from master shah the honor fees are, are one tenth of what they normally are for the registration fee of $100, you get tons and tons of blessings. And at the end of the event, he does one transmission specifically for your request. Not a small thing, I can tell you guys. Uh, I've received multiples of these kinds of blessings, and they're worth their weight in 10 tons of gold. So there are many who watch who have significant uh, financial issues, significant health issues. Borrow the $100 to receive these blessings. You have no idea. Uh, how powerful they are. Uh, it is the cheapest thing you can do uh, with the greatest results. I'm not understating that. So find the money, do it, get a blessing. How do you do it? Go to drsha.com. Uh, Kristen will probably post the link and register for <coughs> the, um, the events coming up this weekend. It's just a, a couple hours. Um, and you don't have to be live there to receive the blessings for those that worry about being at work or whatever. If When you register, you get it. Once you register, um, tell heaven, I might be at work. Uh, I'd like this blessing for diabetes. I might be at work. I'd like this blessing for my heart or whatever it is, right? Um, don't pass that up. I cannot state clearly enough. I don't care how hard your money conditions are. Even if you can't uh, if you have to suffer with less food next week, but you have a major health issue, get this blessing. That's how powerful it is, okay? Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will see you uh, on Sunday for those that want to join me for the Chanting of Love, Peace, and Harmony uh, for those with the condition of cancer. Uh, that's Sunday, 6 p.m. Hawaii time. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye, everybody.